Hello guys, I'm doing this video to show you how to import your private key wallet that you have made here in my site to Electromass View Wallet. So let's suppose you just made a new private key here and let's make one just to show how it works. So we come here, we get this private key and we come here in in the access and we place the private key here and it will show us uh, first the testnet but you usually don't find other testnet only developers do that so you use mainnet and here at mainnet you have compressed and uncompressed formats of uh, public keys that you will produce different address and you, you can uh, import this address as wallet to Electrum SV wallet. So we come here at Electrum SV wallet and we go, I have many uh, tests made here and let's just create a new uh, wallet here and call it uh, a new name. It's uh, it's necessary, uh, it, it always asks this to us to create this uh, password here for the wallet. It's a file that will be stored on your computer. And you come here and it creates this file for you. And now we can uh, just uh, comment it's in Portuguese, uh, my native language. I don't know why it didn't made in English but okay uh, we can come here and add account and it will open this window and we can import it from text it can be any of these formats seed phrase public keys private key address whatever and we can place here our private key in next to the small format but it will not recognize it as a private key but as a node uh, style seed word and so we cannot uh, use our hexadecimal format private key to import our wallet, our address to Electrum SV wallet. But now I have made this a uh, converter for you, so you can come here, type X to with format that's a format that uh, Electrum SV accept, and you just place the private key here it will convert for you all the with formats uh, for each compression each uh, net main net attached net it has a different with format it is specific for each each compressed or uncompressed format and for the net so we have for each hexadecimal format private key four different with formats private key so let's say we want to import uh, this uncompressed format uh, address we can just copy this with format and we go to the electron CV and we place here and now it recognizes it as a private key so we just can finish it so it asks the password of the wallet that you created so let's type the password of the wallet we created and it opens here it's already here you can find this address so so in my case I have I have typed here uh, to hide the, the the keys so I will show the keys and it will open this uh, this window here and we can just come here and type twice and it will open our uh, address that you can send your funds here and if you want to use the compressed format you just create a new wallet also you can just uh, come here and create a new it's in Portuguese here, but you just create new and let's uh, let's 
create this uh, new name here. It's a new wallet it will ask a password and let's make the same password here and let's just uh, go unable to find oh I, I guess it's it it could, could not create here I don't know why let's see so I just went out of uh, electromassive wallet to create a new wallet here it's easier uh, and I will I'll give this name here I guess it's uh, it already sees that I have created before and let's try mm. so okay let's create a new name here I don't know why it refused to open just with this name let's create here and place a new password here let's place this password here and it creates a new wallet now I will copy this with format of compressed uh, public key and I will just create a new account, new account and place this option here and it will recognize it as a private key and just finish oh, the passphrase and okay it is here already and you can come here at keys and see the address it has created for you and now let's just come here again at the access and let's watch let's see the address that it created it's uh, the same address as you can see here it should be the same address in the uncompressed format as well so let's close here and let me try to open this former wallet here and try to see the address let's see the address of this previous wallet and it it has the uncompressed format private key. so guys uh, and you can if these others have no historic have no transactions yet but if you place any address any any wallet with transactions it will monitor for you so guys I see you next time May God bless you all.